Hey everybody, I just watched a video about the Epson HX20 build as the first laptop computer and I wanted to cover mine just a little bit. So here it is, it comes in a hard shell plastic case, it says Epson. Yes, they used to make computers and they're really cool. It looks like a tool case, like a drill. You open it up, there's the beast. Now I can show you what it looks like and everything but I can't turn it on because I can't find the charger <laughs> such is life of a collector <laughs> accessories are all over the place something I was experimenting with is this is a little MIDI MIDI cable and it has a serial port on it my table is kind of wobbly it has a serial port on it let me show you the ports okay okay the adapter is tip negative 6 volts 200 milliamps that's the one I'm looking for it's around here somewhere I'll figure it out it's like a universal work um this is RS 232C and this one is curiously marked serial now I did some research right the RS 232C is just that but it's a non-standard well now connector is not DB9 or D DE9 whatever serial port is for like accessories and things like a printer though you don't really need a printer unless you need a full-size printer and let me just set this that's not a manual let me just set this over here and show you some neat stuff about this thing okay it has a built-in printer and I have printed several things on this it works great it's like a cash register right you uh let me see if I can remember how to well, I'm not going to mess with it, not with one hand at least. And it has a little LCD display right here. And a cassette, micro cassette drive for storage and playback. It's really neat. And I have a couple of cassettes over here. Well, those are empty cases. One of them goes to this. This one is, is blank. I bought them specifically for this. And, okay, a neat thing about this is the expansion right it looks like an IDE cable connector now a friend from vintage computer awesome guy Terry he sent me the voice module now what it lets you do is you turn it off and you plug it in the side and it has two little screws right that bolt it down you have to use the screws else it'll bend the pins right found out by reading did not find out the hard way you put it on here then you boot it up and it goes into a different basic from here right and it's really cool you can tell it to say whatever and it sounds like Stephen Hawking it really does when I find it, it's in it's a, somewhere with the power supply <laughs> when I find it I will uh, tap some stuff in and let you hear what it sounds like it's really neat and I wish I could do it right now but the battery's drained and to start, this thing has to be charged at least a little bit because unlike other computers, it doesn't, okay, it goes charge the battery, then there's no bypass circuit, right? It goes battery to mechanism, and that's the way it works. So the battery has to have something of a charge before this will turn on, and I don't have it. And I rebuilt the battery in this. It has some sub-C cells in it. I tore apart a drill battery, excellent source for rechargeable batteries they're high capacity and what do you call it uh, deep cycle type well high capacity because drills suck them dry right I rebuilt it it had four and you had to take the whole thing I have to take the whole thing apart to get to the battery because it's like right behind here right this is just on the circuit board and it's all right behind here there's no indiglo there's no lighting on the screen it makes bleeps and bloops and as far as I know it has 600 kilohertz processor 600 something kilohertz maybe and it's a really neat machine and when I find the uh, power supply and voice module somewhere in the dungeon here or the vault <laughs> this is the vault when I find it I will showcase it it's just a neat computer here's your speaker your printer uh, data storage this gets this is releasable let's see here let me just so while I got you here 
show you how this cartridge out. They did make, okay, not with one hand, not with one hand, not this time. They did make separate, they made a memory upgrade. This pops off. You see the little seam right here? This pops off, and they made a memory upgrade, and like some, like one or two cartridge games that I know of, but they were never, they never really caught on because this got obsoleted very quickly. The next models came out. This is an HX20, right? Okay, well, this video has been long enough. It's got a very clicky keyboard, full keyboard except for no numeric anything. And thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed it. I have one of these and it's awesome. Thanks. Bye-bye.